On this edition of the news, we're going to talk retro collection, some bounty hunter sets. Ooh, it looks really good. Plus, there's some Obi-Wan Kenobi wave for the future rumors. Ooh, there's some TVC rumors of a reissue wave later in the year, and that's going to be awesome. Plus, we got some fan mail. This, all the way from the Gold Coast. How cool is that? Well, there's some more coming up. <laughs> Our retro collection here. We'll collect all of those. Welcome to my television, your home action figure news. Today, let's talk about this awesome out of nowhere retro collection set that the BAM! This, oh, we're gonna start. Start first. Dengar IG 11. Those two characters were picked specifically for a reason, I believe, is because people are asking, we want more of the OT stuff, but they won't do C3PO and R2D2 because. Vark metalized. These two look like, well, it's going to go well. You, you've already got Empire Strikes Back, Boba Fett's out there. So we've got like three out of the six bounty hunters. Excellent. The front of the box having the two of them on there with Dango and IG-11. And then it's in what like four different languages. Empire Strikes Back. Still got the distressed box look with the big retro sticker on it. So retro collection. And the two carded figures are inside this box. There's the side of the box with the yellow little stripe down the side with instructions or whatever they want to be don't stick it up you know sort of stuff on the back there you got the six bounty hunters wow that's a nice image to put on a card back or in this case a box is that telling us that eventually four lomans are going to come like this who's that leave bosk let's hope they do the same thing again the card back of denga is exactly like it was in the old days it is a little bit um how would i say computerized or updated it's fresher and cleaner look at the old one it's very blurry the figures however look identical let's have a look at ig88 we've got the same distress look on the card because it's retro collection the same card back as used back in the day and got his weapons in there in blue very very consistent with the original canon stuff fantastic i'm glad it's almost identical i mean You'd nitpick and say, hey, don't do this, don't do that. I'm happy with what I'm seeing, and I hope you are too. When I saw these images today, it reminded me of something that we've had before. Bounty Hunters pack. This one, obviously, for the 40th anniversary. Giant box. Remember, the box will be much, much smaller. There's the Tarkin, so you can imagine the box is only going to be as big as the Retro Collection figures. Uh, no distress box, but very similar. There's no picture on the back, but this one, that's fantastic picture of the bounty hunters what did i say the other day retro collection we love retro collection definitely going to pick these up the two pack will be exclusive to amazon uh it's listed on amazon right now you can go and click down in the description of my amazon affiliates and you'll see it there at 27.99 us dollars december 1st release but i'll probably push that forward you you watch some people will be like in october like i've got them already <laughs> Very cool. I'm very happy to see this for you who don't know. Retro Collection is primarily what we had back in the Kenner days for all you young kids who never collected the Kenner. Got to collect the Kenner. Now you've got Retro Collection to collect and hopefully they will do every single figure ever made in Kenner in the Retro Collection over time. And that takes me on to a new rumor that's from Kylo Collector. This one is the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. The next wave after the one that's due out around about May of the Mandalorian figures the next one will be Kenobi. Now, for Kenobi, we, we know Kenobi will be there. Obi-Wan Kenobi, one figure, but roughly there is six in a set, plus an extra one in a board game, and maybe a fancy one in multicolors. Who else are we gonna have? Well, for the set, we may get another Vader, because he'll be in the series. Maybe an Anakin version that I've never made before. Who knows? By the way, that is the rain absolutely hammering down. I do like to change the pace going on to the Kenobi. I know we don't want to go back and do the other Star Wars figures or Empire figures or Jedi figures, but Kenobi is something different. We have Mando, Mando, so something different is good. Awesome. Thank you, Kylo Collector, for the info. Moving on to the TVC stuff. Now, there's two reissue waves this year. The first one, we'll put the information up on the screen there. It's got Ahsoka, the Clone Wars one. Anakin Skywalker, Phantom Menace, Mace Windu, Attack of the Clones, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Attack of the Clones. That wave there will be first step, then we'll get a couple of waves, maybe one wave, and then we'll go into the second wave. And this second wave has a rumor 
of Shea Vizsla. But Kyla Collector has also brought to our attention it may potentially have the following characters. A heavy assault trooper, a young Lando, which is very interesting, and a stormtrooper commander from the Force Unleashed. Very interesting lineup if they're going to redo those ones. Young Lando leaves the only one out of those that I actually own. Anyway, what do you think of that wave? That's just a rumor, so take it with a grain of salt. Also, uh, remember I talked about this um, code name Periwinkle. Periwinkle? What's Periwinkle? We finally found it. I, I was right to say the three TVC figures that we had re revealed recently of Cosca Reeves, Migs Mayfield, and Axe Woves are Periwinkle, Violet, and Marv, Maeve, however you like to say it. I never say it correctly, but yes, it lines up. Periwinkle is Cosca Reeves. Hooray! <laughs> Glad I finally got an answer to that one. Last bit of news before we open the package is the Navarro Cantina is hitting stores, Target stores, in fact, in California. Thank you, Chazaguru, for this pick. Awesome stuff. Still unsure of the whereabouts when it turns up in Australia, but it shouldn't be too far away. Excellent. Now, as I said, got some fan mail all the way from the Gold Coast. This is a padded envelope. Let's have a look. It is from, it's from Tristan, and he has sent something very, very, well, I, I would say, almost priceless. This is very unique and special and I thank him very much. He sent me a big long letter which is three pages long. I'll briefly read through some of the letter and then I'll show you, turn the camera around and put it on a table and show you exactly what he sent me because it's quite delicate and I don't want to destroy it because it's very kind of him to send this. Us. Thank you Tristan. He writes, hi Mike my name is Tristan. I live on the Gold Coast. I've been a collector since Star Wars started in 1977 mate. I'm 50 in a few weeks and I still have some of the the one-of-a-kind Star Wars material that I need to find a new home. I'm more than willing to drive down to Lismore. That's the town where the P.O. Box lives. I have included an original 1980s Empire Strikes Back press release and a 1983 Return of the Jedi press release. Unbelievable. And he's also included some Return of the Jedi bubblegum cards. I wish to pay it forward to someone that will love and cherish at least some of these items. Cheers, mate, Tristan. Well, thank you very much, Tristan. We're about to have a look at what he sent. As you can see, these are quite rare and special. This is a Fox Columbia Film Distributors press sheet for The Empire Strikes Back. And this one is a Return of the Jedi one. The cast. Blurg about it. Very, very rare. These are A3 in size. He's also included uh, a bunch of these awesome, awesome cards. Look at this. Return of the Jedi ones. Excellent. But these, I will have to frame these up. These are wonderful, wonderful gifts. Thank you so much, Tristan. This is an absolute prize piece and they're going to get framed. The pieces of paper you can see in the background here, they were between the sheets as folded up. I will try and keep them as flat as I can because I'm going to get them put up on the wall. Not in direct sunlight, that's for sure. So thank you so much. That is very kind of you to gift me something very, very significantly important in the Star Wars universe. And thank you for the cards as well. That is wonderful. I had to turn the camera around for that, guys. I didn't want to hold up the, uh, the press releases and get them all damaged. They are quite old and quite fragile and very, very beautiful. Something very, very special. And thank you so much for sending them to me. Um, if you guys enjoyed today, let me know your thoughts down below. More retro collection. How about that? Awesome stuff. Always keeps the OT fans happy. <laughs> if you'd like to support the channel, don't forget you can hit that join button and become a member of the channel. Or you might like to go to the Amazon affiliate, buy yourself that lovely set Bounty Hunters 2-pack from the Retro Collection, available in the link provided in the description. Or you might like to pick up some merch featuring my logos. If you'd like to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at usualmike30 or on Instagram at usualmike.tv. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, tap that little bell for notifications, slap a like on this video if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. All the best.